Peace, oh family. Peace, everyone. Peace, peace. I hope you're doing well. Peace, everyone. Peace, Jerry Lee. Peace, everyone coming in. I was going to um, write out a message. I did. I, I wrote something out and I posted it to the stories. And then, peace, I am infinite being. Um, I wanted to write some more and I was like, this is just too much to write. Let me go live. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. I'm sick, 88. Uh, I'm sick. I said it right. Peace. Peace, Atlantean goddess. Good evening, step peaches. Peace, five G's. Peace, bridge to excellence. Peace to everyone coming in. I say peace and I, I mean it. I mean it. Someone asked me, why do I um, uh, greet with peace? And I said, um, that's something that Spirit told me to do. And it's because, you know, this is a way of setting the energy. Before you even um, have any interactions with anyone, you want to always set that energy of peace. That's what that is. Great to see you as well. So again, um, so mine, I just, I literally just opened my eyes uh, a little while ago. I took, um, let's see, an early, a mid, no, late afternoon nap. I was actually pulled to sleep. And so, um, which is odd, I wanted to go outdoors and I was like, let me just um, go to sleep. Clearly, there's something that Spirit wants to share with me. And so, um, I started, I did, I did type a message in my story. Um, but there was more that I wanted to say, and I didn't want to type all that up. I was just too tired <laughs> to type it up. So, I was just like, let me just go live and uh, share. Peace. I'm infinite being. You said you've been napping all week, which is not normal. Yeah, you too. So you all have been pulled to sleep. So not you all, but some of you are saying that you have been pulled to um, sleep, which makes sense, which makes sense. Um, so in my uh, sleep state, and this has been going on since last night, but my um, spirit team has been giving me um, warnings, information, essentially warnings like, you know, be aware of this, be aware of that sort of thing. And it's like, what the heck? Like, really specific. Like, where you can't, it's very specific. Let me just say that. And I've shared it with, like, my daughters telling them, like, this is what's what's happening this is what you know we need to do etc etc so um i do want to say some of you are saying you've been feeling tired whenever you feel tired or sleepy and it's not like it's the middle of the day whenever it is you you, you you take a nap because many times your spirit team can communicate with you easily um in, in your sleep state. Why? Because a lot of times in your conscious state of you being awake, there's too many distractions and the information is not clear. Or you're, you're missing things. So your spirit team will lull you to sleep in order for you to get that information. And that's what happened to me. Peace, peace. So, um, so, what I want to share with you, who I feel like in my my um, sacral chakra just now, 
What I want to share with all of you is, um, you know, I say when you receive spiritual promptings, I always tell people, don't be in a place of doubting it. A lot of times we have been conditioned to doubt the spiritual promptings that we received and we've been conditioned since, again, five years old, eight years old. I want you all to believe it. Stop doubting, stop doubting. You have to believe it, you have to know. Know that you're spiritual beings, know that you have a spirit team, your higher self, your ancestors, your spirit guides, and it is their responsibility to lead you, to guide you, to direct you. You have to know that. When you know that, then you have to trust any promptings that you are receiving. You can't be in a place of saying, oh yeah, I know I have a spirit team, I know they're here to guide me, and then you get a prompting, and then you're like, I don't know if that's, maybe that's in my head, maybe that's me thinking that, okay? We have to stop that doubt of who we are. You have to stop the doubt of our powers and our gifts, okay? So I say that, to, I say that because um, this weekend is a very, some stuff transpired this past week. Some stuff transpired and um, with some beings, let me just say that. And Spirit told me that um, a lot of stuff, let me just say that, a lot of stuff was being revealed. But more importantly, this weekend, the energy is going to be very, very high, okay? And um, for, for several reasons, there's most reasons which I'm not going to get into right now. But the energy is going to be very high. There are going to be many distractions, okay? Of course, there's um, a holiday, right? Fourth of July. And that's one of the distractions. Um, but there's going to be, um, there's an energy grab. What I mean by energy grab? I mean that you as spiritual beings, as high vibrational beings, and I, I spoke about this before, you have very high auras. Share this with uh, your soul family. Share this with those who resonate with you on this level. Those are your friends who you speak about this with. Share this with them, okay? Whether you share this video or you share this message, just sh share this, what I'm, what I'm speaking on, okay? Because it's very important. It's very important. So, there is, um, wh whenever, hmm, explain this whenever you're in a place when it, whenever as a spiritual being you're in a place and it's low vibrational or um it may not be good let's just say that your your spirit team is on alert they're they're aware of what's going on so they're on alert because you have all that energy surrounding you okay your aura is brighter it is stronger okay i said it before I said it before, there are entities that are here on this uh, planet and they want nothing more to feed off of your energy, literally to eat, eat your, um, your energy, okay? The, the, their job is not to kill you because then if I kill you, I mean, that's, well, we don't want to get into that. I, we don't want to get into that. I like for this video to be posted. <laughs> <laughs> but if I can feed off of your energy by you being distracted or you being in fear, then that is this is how they're thinking. Okay? I'm not saying this to I'm, I'm not talking nonsense and I'm not saying this to um, elicit any fear in anyone because you guys know me by now. I'm not about that. I'm just telling you some truth. Okay? So um, with that said, this weekend, I don't want any of you to be trying to figure out what is it, it's this, I heard it's this, I heard it's that. Those are distractions. Who cares what it is? You can try to figure it out. It's, it's bigger and deeper than um, your, your conscious mind is telling you. Let's just say that. It's bigger and deeper than what whoever on the internet is saying. 
okay? What I'm saying to you is that it's important for you to, um, as I'm saying this, the most is happening where I am. Um, it's important for you to trust your, your spirit team. This is your higher self. This is your ancestors. This is any deities that you are connected to. This is your spirit guides. Because their uh, sole job is to um, protect you. You okay? Come in, come in. You want to lay down here? Their sole job is to... Um, hold on. Just put my laptop over there. Hold on, guys. Um, their sole job. Did you have some peppermint tea? Uh, see, I think Makeda made some for you. Okay. Yes, my daughters and I were drinking a whole lot of tea and herbs, and we'll get to that. <laughs> but um, these beings, uh, their job is to um, distract you to get you in a place of fear, unsettledness, you specifically, you specifically, because your energy is the energy that is what they want, okay? Um, and so I'm telling you now, um, be, be aware, your spirit team is going to um, tell you, don't go here, don't do this. It's, Sorry, guys, the sun is setting, so it's getting dark in here. Um, don't go here. Don't do this. Uh, do this. Do that. And you have to trust that. You have to follow that. Your spirit team may even go as far as sometimes we, sometimes we don't listen. Sometimes we feel like, oh, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't go there. But we do it anyway. Your spirit team. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Your spirit team will move heavens and earth to make sure that you um, are protected because of the work that you are here to do, okay? It is part of their, their soul's mission, their, their mission work to um, make sure that you do what you have to do. Do you understand? So if you get the message, don't go here. And um, I was talking to someone and um, they, she knew, she felt like not to go somewhere, for example. But they were going to go ahead and pursue going. Let me turn this light on. Hold on. This is, I don't want to be looking all creepy in the dark. <laughs> Hold on. All the lights ain't even working. Give me a second, guys. I'll put this phone down really quick. I was speaking with someone and um, her uh, she was getting promptings on not to go somewhere and was you know sometimes we doubt ourselves and we're like oh that's just me I'm gonna go anyway and spirit team just shut it down I guess spirit team will stop stuff okay you'll you'll um, miss connections you're supposed to miss you'll this things will happen it's like and it'll be blatant you'll know like okay this is not coincidental maybe i shouldn't go i'm, I'm trust me trust me and i'm not saying don't go anywhere i'm saying if you're prompted to go somewhere go if you're prompted not then don't okay um <laughs> thank you <laughs> um i just didn't want to be like in the dark <laughs> um so, what am I, what was I saying? Let me try to reel it back. This weekend. Especially today, tomorrow, and Monday. So that was what I literally got. I told my daughters, um, is, it, is it hot? Is it warm? It's hot? Okay. 
um, I told my daughters that whatever you need to do, get it done yesterday, the second. You are not to go out today, tomorrow, okay? And there's Monday that we are doing, Tuesday we are doing something, but I will be there with them. And so, um, I'm not going to go too much into details, but I'm just, I just want to share this all with you. This is what's happening. The energy is super high. It's meant to be. Um, understand who you are. If you know who you are as a spiritual being, know that you are, um, you are the object of a lot of uh, lower vibrational beings, um, attention, okay? We are to be aware, but never in fear, okay? Always be aware, but never in fear, okay? Fear energy is what drops our high vibrational energy very low. And when we're in a fear state, that is when we are open for attack. Do you understand? So, um, understand again, you are, you are always protected. You are always guided and you are always loved. But I need you guys to follow the guidance, follow the promptings that come to you because they are coming to you. I'm telling you for a reason. If you feel prompted to go to sleep, Go to sleep. There's information. There's information. There's so much information coming down. And I shared this in the, the live I did on YouTube. There's so much information coming from nature, coming from everywhere. <laughs> and if you're not if you're not going into nature to receive it, if you're not doing the work to receive it, your spirit team is not gonna stop. They're gonna be like, I right, just wait till he go to sleep. Just wait till she go to sleep. Now I'm going to tell you, you know, that I'll get you there. When your conscious mind is somewhere else. Okay? Um, so here's what I want to share with you. If you have to go outdoors, I want you to um, make sure you have certain crystals with you. Okay? Make sure you have your a selenite. It's going to keep you balanced if you are an empath. If you are an empath, all spiritual beings are. You're going to pick up on energies. It may unsettle you. Selenite helps to balance your energy out so you don't feel like aloof. You know what I'm saying? You're out. Black obsidian protects your... It's like a shield for your aura. So you want to have black obsidian with you. Do not go out with high vibration, do not go out with crown chakra crystals, like um, amethysts, uh, things that open up your, your third eye. Don't go out in public with those because now you're vibrating way too high and you may, you may be off, a little off, okay? You don't need that when you're out in public. Use those third eye and crown chakra crystals when you're in your home, meditating, receiving information when you're doing spiritual work, okay? When you go to sleep tonight, make sure you have your selenite under your pillow. What selenite does on the astral realms is that it serves as a sword. You make sure you have malachite, okay? Malachite is going to protect your heart chakra because for many of us, that's where the attack is, um, that's where the, the attack is aimed, okay? And then black obsidian, you can put that under your pillow as well for protection. Now, these are protection crystals, okay? If you don't have them, I suggest investing in them. But I've been talking about these three crystals for years now. I hope you all have, you know, have a piece somewhere, okay? Um, so you definitely want to use your, your tools. If you're going out in public, um, you can wear high vibrational essential oils. So we're talking about um, any citrus essential oil. If you're going to be outdoors, lemongrass is, lemongrass is good because it'll also prevent the mosquitoes. But it's a high vibrational oil. Low vibrational entities do not like certain scents they just can't vibe with. Another one, my favorite, is Ylang Ylang. Okay? Those are oils you can put on your body to protect you when you're out um, in public. Before you go to bed, same thing. Um, number one, <clears throat> if you come in the house... 
bathe. You know, my aunties will say bathe your skin. But you want to bathe, take a shower, rinse all that energy off of you, and then again, put some high vibrational essential oils on you. You should not go to bed without putting some scents on your skin, okay? It's another way of protecting you in the astral realm, okay? Um, make sure you are protecting yourself, right? So you can say, you know, you, you guys know, I tell you the easiest thing to say. You don't got to do some crazy long incantation, right? Um, you can use Palo Santo or you can just, if you have nothing else, you have no tools, the easiest thing is you say, I'm surrounded in a whatever of love. There's nothing that is low vibrational can exist in this space, period. And you don't say that with, I'm surrounded in a place of fear or weakness. You say that in power, okay? Before you go to sleep, you should be saying that. But I want you to say that. Teach your children to say that, okay? And then I want you to send protection energy to your children, to your loved ones. You have the power to do that. You literally close your eyes. You imagine um, a color, whatever color. Uh, resonates with you um, I'm seeing like a I'm seeing literally like a pink fuchsia color type color that's what I'm seeing and it's like in levels for some reason <laughs> so whatever that color is for you you imagine it don't just say oh I'm sending love that can work but I want you to imagine that whatever that color is traveling towards them I want you to individualize that person don't be lazy. Don't be like, I'm sending love to my whole family. Okay. I want you to imagine whatever that color is and imagine each a family member and imagine that color completely surrounding them. That is that work that you can do. No tools. It's just you and using uh, your, your inner powers, your inner gifts. Okay? Um, any... Any... Um, dreams that you have, any astral travels that you have, I want you to record them. Um, if you're one that can get up and write notes down, do that. That's not me. <laughs> That's not me. I have my phone on airplane mode. I have a piece of shungite to block the EMF radiation. And I'll get up to the notes section and I'll record the, the, the dream or the travel that I received. And then when I'm fully up, I'll listen to it to see what happened. I did that today. Let me tell y'all. I did it today. I immediately told my daughter. Within five minutes, it manifested the thing that I said was going to happen. And I called her and I said, I just told you about a dream, right? That thing just happened, okay? So I'm, I'm telling y'all, um, I'm telling y'all what, what, what's up, what this energy is about, what it's like. We don't need to know the specifics. There's a lot of talk on what this could be. It's just a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Don't get caught up in it. Please don't get caught up in it. A lot of these fights <laughs> have nothing to do with you. As spiritual beings, you have to understand that there are people here who these fights are for and that's fine for them it does not make you oh i'm a spiritual being i'm better than you it's not that's not what it's about okay you've been here a long time many lifetimes and you're here to do work specific work okay that's what your focus is on there are beings that they're not as old or as ancient as you and they're here to do their work let them do their work you do your work do you understand so don't get caught up because for real, it doesn't make sense to you anyway. And then you get into the place of wanting to debate and argue. And for what? Now you just wasted your energy. And I promise you, somebody that's listening to the debate or the argument is like sucking up your energy. Because you're not using it for what you came here to do. Your energy is not here for that. Your energy is to do whatever work you came here to do. If that's healing, if that's teaching, if that's whatever growing herbs making shoes or whatever it is that's what your energy is for not for the nonsense
okay? And I'm saying that out of love. And sometimes we have to catch ourselves. We have to catch ourselves, okay? So, um... If any, I'll answer a couple of questions. I will do that. If there, are, if you have any questions, I will answer a couple of questions, and then, and then I'm gonna um, log off. Um, what's the company name you said to some time ago? So, um, the the company that I like purchasing essential oils from is Now Brand. And the reason why is because I believe like they're gangster. This this comp this particular company back in the mid two thousands, where there were like other essential oil companies that were doing like um like multi level marketing, let's say that. And they uh, were putting um organic and things on their brands. And so now it was like, we're not paying the FDA $2 billion to say that we're organic when we know what our practices are like. So they've always had conscious-minded practices before. They never had to be organic because that's type, the type of work that they did. They're like the Dr. Bronner's of essential oils, if you know who Dr. Bronner's is. So I've always rocked with them, and their prices are affordable, right? So um, that's the company. Let me see if there's any... Um, if you have snowflake obsidian, that's fine. I am tired because, well, you may not have been here in the beginning. I just opened my eyes maybe 30 minutes ago. So I literally came on the live, maybe more than that. We've been here for 30 minutes. I just came on the live after like sitting up. But there was a message that um, I really felt prompted to share with you all. Okay? So trust that when we're done, I'm going back to sleep. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Yeah, I did give the oils and the crystals, so you may have to just rewatch this again. Okay. All right, everyone. Have a um. If you're if you're not sleepy, if you're feeling charged up, you're just um feeling the energy that surrounds so either you'll be really sleepy or or not really sleepy you'll just you may be awake and then just feel like really drowsy and go to sleep okay or you just may be charged up it all depends on like what your your work is so i go into the astrome a lot to communicate get information and bring it back here okay all right everyone um again share this you can share this video or you can share the message you know what i'm saying the stuff that i told you in this video with those who you know will, um, you know, take it and use it. I just saw 111 in the chat. All right. Peace, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you soon. Peace.